Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, we are back, guys. Very late video today in terms of the content, but still want to post one uh, just due to the fact that we obviously still have uh, probably some pretty crazy Sunday content. Also, this video is probably coming out like two hours late. Uh, I was going to stream this afternoon. I had some things this morning, but I'm extremely tired, like very, very tired. And I may just chill out, man. I may just chill out because you know what? I'm, I'm dead today. I'm, I'm really, really tired today. So I might just relax and come back uh, stronger for tomorrow. But we'll see, guys. Um, anyways, I do want to take a look at the content today uh, and try to give it the best look that I can. Um, obviously, I first of all, these are, these are still available. These were available all week. Um, this Amiri card... This Amiri card is fire, bro. Everybody's talking really good things about it. It's probably going to be a big SPC day. We've been getting icons on... Wow, we got icons and Waman. So we got we got Waman SPC today, who's got five-star skills, um, 91 overall, with just a pretty crazy card. Now, he does have a 340-foot high and average body type, and I never really love medium-medium, but the really unique part with this card, I'll move my face cam, is that uh, you do get 91 strength, which is pretty high, you also get 99 agility. Reactions are a little bit low. Composure a little bit low. Uh, finishing, incredible though. And finishing and sprint speed on this card are just like literally incredible. So very good stats there. Um, he's only requiring an 84 and an 85, which is pretty nice. That That's going to be super affordable. Um, I, I wonder what type of upgrade packs we got today. I mean, that's obviously always like a big deal too, because that depends on your craft. So it looks like we have a couple new icons. We've got Carlos Alberto. Uh, which is actually interesting. I this is an end. This is probably like arguably one of the best right backs in the game. Um, he's 1.8 mil on the market. He was 2.2 yesterday, so he's down 300k today. Um, but Carlos Alberto, if not you know right back, it's center back. People people love this card at center back. This one does have high medium, whereas I think his baby version is like medium high or something, medium medium maybe. So that is that is a little bit of a difference. That high medium, like I use PK. Or he used PK a little bit this weekend. And because of the high medium, he just makes runs to the striker. So it's a little bit not ideal. But uh, let's see what EA is wanting to require for this. We still haven't seen that icon requirement, which we're kind of waiting to see if that ever does happen. Uh, we've got an 83. We've got an 85. We've got an 87. We've got an 86, an 87, an 88, and an 89. Okay, so there is a lot of requirements here. Um, I don't know if though. I think he's still going to be cheaper than his price on the market. His SPC price... Uh, today, guys, is... <sighs> Pupin still doesn't have it, but you know what? We have a 70% upvote, and I'm going to tell you this, bros. Based on some of the squads that I'm seeing, I mean, 89 is 400, 88 is 370. So these are not that different. That's um, 770 plus 223 is a mil, uh, plus 87 is 1.2. This is 1.35. I mean, yeah, this is probably 1.5. Uh, before any craft, which I actually think is fine. I'm okay with that totally. I think there's actually a bit of a discount here, and I think if you have some fodder and stuff, you know, you could potentially get the best right back in the game for a million coins, right, which is totally okay. And, uh, you know, this is one of those end game cards, guys. This is like a super end game card. Uh, so, you know what, guys? You know, maybe this SBC is not something that today you're going to do, but it does signify, in my opinion, that we are maybe going to get some of the craziest icons this year because this is an icon that is a very, like, um, you know, guys, people are paying $2 million on the market for him as a fullback. So he's one of those kind of end game cards. What else do we get? We got Stevie G. Uh, and this is a cool card as well. Uh, this is more of a sentimental card. I don't know how good Stevie G is. This is like a, you know, if you're a Stevie G guy, that this might be for you. Uh, this is going to require 83, 80, 46. Wow. So EA is saying, hey, you know what? Like, you know, this guy is only 400K on the market. Let's make him really cheap. So this is very, very affordable. Uh, very affordable. Stevie G, Stevie G is that kind of you know, center mid icon link. Uh, this is pretty nice, right? A nice little, uh, you know, potential icon into some of your guys' clubs. I like this one a lot. I think that's actually a really nice SBC from EA today. I'm a big fan of that one. I think Stevie G is a great SBC. Uh, we've got Yashin as well. Uh, people were telling me that this version doesn't wear a hat, and I think the 94 this year also doesn't wear a hat. So this is a goalkeeper. I'm not too sure how he's going to play. We've got an 80 and 83 and 84, 86. So very similar to Stevie G. Uh, just that extra, I think that extra 80 rated squad that Stevie G doesn't have. So these guys um, with an 83, an 86 is 169. I mean, these guys are probably 300K is my guess before inflation. That's my guess. Probably 300K before inflation or any untradables, which to me, guys, for some icon SBCs, this does seem like a bargain, right? And stuff that, you know, Stevie G is that midfielder icon that you can link a lot. That's pretty nice. 
And then Lev Yashin is also, you know, this this is probably going to be a really good keeper. I I don't really know. Keepers are kind of like random this year. Right now I have Courtois in net, and I really like Courtois. I think Courtois is really good. So, yeah, that's it for the players today. And, boy, guys, that's a lot of stuff today. I mean, Waman is coming in at, like, 200K, I think. And then we got two icons that are great value. We got one potential endgame icon. We've also got a Bundesliga 85-plus uh, player pick, which is just mental. That's really good. And then we've also got... Uh, Bundesliga upgrade, which is an 81 plus, uh, an 81 plus player. This is repeatable. Now this requires what? This requires four rare golds and then seven common golds for 180 plus in the bonus, 81 plus in the Bundesliga. We've then got the Bundesliga premium players pack. Now this is the 25 K pack that we have with the Prem. Uh, these are okay. People seem to like these. We've got an 81 to 87 and then we've got an 81 plus player pick. Wow. So what a day of content again. EA are smashing team of the season. And I'm starting to be suspicious that maybe it's for the reason that EA want people to buy FIFA 22. Uh, maybe. But this one is five golds. Uh, five golds, guys. And this one is looking uh, honestly like some incredible value. Uh, this one is looking great. So I'm going to make a couple of these right now. Uh, we're going to see if we get anybody just off the rip. And then other than that, I'm probably going to spend... Uh, my day because I'm not feeling great just laying on the couch uh, probably watching some football I was just watching the Liga La Liga man it is crazy what is going on in that league and then uh, some of you guys were tweeting me that we've got some really good Liga MX games tonight so we're gonna probably build some player picks on my couch and see how these kind of go um, I am curious to see though man because you know player picks are player picks guys and we know we know how good these are I'm also going to be doing the 85 plus Bundesliga player pick I think that these two are going to be the way to go, guys. Um, I just unmarked it. Great. Good job, Nick. But I think that uh, I think these are always the best to go, man. I think that the the player pick, guys, and then the player picks this year are always crazy. I mean, that at the end of the day, that's really what it comes down to. The player picks are just super OP um, in FIFA. I don't know what it is with these player picks, but they always have better weight. Um, everything about them is just better. So I look at it like, you know, I, I think that's really where I want to be taking my risk now some of you guys as we make a couple of these are probably gonna get mad at me and say nick what are you doing bro um you know you're you're putting in non-rares uh or you're putting in too many rares guys the thing is man uh usually when we get pretty good player picks the prices on the market uh of the of the actual um we're gonna have to get a center back here of the actual players for the goals kind of end up like being about the same so a lot of the time what i'll do is not really care um, and it's also the end of the game, right? So you, you care a little bit less. So really today, I, I also didn't see what that 85 plus Bundesliga player pick uh, is looking like with requirements, but I'm thinking that 85 plus Bundesliga player pick is probably an 85, I think, based on current market prices. Guys, we do not want to submit Neymar into the SBC. That would be absolutely tragic. Let's not do that. Um, all right, the rest though, that's looking good on the rest of things. I think we can do that. And I think we'll probably be able to make four or five. That's my hope. We'll make five of these on the video today, guys, and then we uh, we go out and check out and see if we can um, recycle them, uh, you know, recycle whatever we get into a nice little 85-plus player pick, and we see if we can add a Bundesliga uh, player to our to our club. I mean, really, that's what it is, right? We're going to see if that happens. Um, look, at the end of the day, I haven't even looked at the market, guys, but this none of this stuff is good for the market. Whether or not you guys care anymore, I don't know, but this stuff is going to be bad for the market, right? It's going to be more people doing untradeables. Uh, and look, guys, Carlos Alberto, I mean, I, I know I've said it a couple times. That is a really, really like, you know, pro player end game type of card, right? So I'm actually kind of even surprised that they dropped that card. Now, I know that we're, we're pretty much long overdue on icons. We should have had icons a long time ago. Uh, that, that's a given. But, you know, it's, it is an impressive SBC that EA does come out today. Uh, and they did bring that SBC. I, I know for me, you know, you guys might not be impressed, but... I know that I definitely I definitely am a little bit impressed. So we've got five player picks here. Let's see if we can maybe get on the board with the team of the season. Not too sure how the weight is. Obviously, uh, the difference with these player picks is that it is not league specific. So th these player picks, guys, are for everything in general. It's not just the league. Whereas I think for the La Liga, we had the, I think it was 80 plus La Liga player picks. So, you know, just keep that in mind is that you've got a lot more players to pick. But it is 81 plus, right? So you think from 81 plus... You're gonna get a nice, you know, a nice, um, a nice balance of fodder, right? So, you know, nothing crazy there, guys. Not too surprised. Um, not too surprised. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check out that 85 plus uh, Bundesliga player pick. I do want to take a look at this and see what this specifically requires. 
Uh, this is an 85 with a team of the season. Okay, so that that to me kind of makes sense. Um, these are really overpowered usually. Now, 80, 70 chemistry is a lot. That's what they're requiring. 70 chemistry is a lot. I actually did tap Silva yesterday, guys. Um, so, you know, he's a guy that I think I'm going to put in Goldson here, guys. Um, I did do tap Silva, though, guys. I just wanted to point that out because he, he his SPC looks crazy, and I used him a couple times. I liked him yesterday, so... You know, for me, that was a player that, that was worth doing. I wish I could say that Neymar is fodder, uh, but he's not fodder. I'm not going to sit here and say that Neymar is fodder. We may actually have to buy a couple players today, guys, because um, I did put a lot of my fodder uh, yesterday uh, into the into into a couple of SPCs. We did do a lot of SPCs today, but it's the nice part about doing a couple of those player picks. We did just get a couple, um, you know, not super high-rated players, but definitely respectably uh, rated. We're going to put Mendy in there. Tadic is going in there. We're going to have to start to find some chemistry. That's the only issue, though. Uh, chemistry is not my strong suit, but I think if I'm able to probably get maybe like, I'm thinking like Tony Cruz, maybe. I mean, this is only an 85. I do have to keep that in mind that I'm, you know, maybe even going with Tony Cruz is going to be a little bit overkill. Um, it is only an 85, guys. But uh, what I am thinking is that maybe we go with Tony Cruz and we go with like maybe Aspas. And, you know, because we've got that La Liga theme, we probably should get an 85 with that. We're just going to have to figure out the chemistry. Uh, even that is actually not 85. So maybe we go with, like, uh, Parejo. He's, uh, I think Parejo is um, an 85. So he's a little bit higher rated. I mean, we, we really can't be that far off. I'm not using that many low rated players. But, yeah, again, still, 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 still not high rated enough. But what I am going to do right now is sort this a little bit um, and just kind of get this sorted a little just to kind of see what we're going to work with here. Now, we are really off, guys. So I think a center mid here, like um, another center mid in La Liga, we, would be really good. Maybe we go here and we do Oyer Zabel uh, over here. Now, 70 chemistry. Oh, man, this is brutal, guys. You guys don't meet me and my chemistry. Um, I freaking hate chemistry in this game. It's the worst. So that still doesn't work. Um... So now I'm left thinking if we go with Aspas here, this should probably work. I mean, you'd, you'd hope, right? Because at that point, I'm, I'm, I'm actually having to go by four players. Holy crap, that still doesn't work, man. This is just tough today, boys. Um, okay, so he's going to go there. Uh, what else can we do here? I mean, what we're going to have to, at this point, you know, see if we can go with La Liga. <sighs> I am so crap at SPCs, man. You know what it is, guys? I just, I don't ever off the top of my head know these players. So I'm not looking at a solution, and I probably should be. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's really the issue. I think David Silva might be our guy. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think if I could find David Silva, who I've probably already scrolled past, uh, he's probably going to be our guy. Now, we could also go with uh, Papu Gomez. I think Gomez, Alejandro Gomez, is going to be a good option. He'll be pretty cheap, too. I mean, it's not like he's going out of packs or anything recently, and uh, he'll be he'll be super affordable. And look, with this player pick, guys, I know that, uh, you know, there, there is the risk that you don't get anything. And I did. My first La Liga player pick, guys. Oh, no. Okay, he's on the market. My first La Liga player pick that I... Uh, did I do it wrong, guys? I think I did it wrong. Okay. So, we're going to buy two. Uh, not the day, man, to be doing SPCs. Not feeling too great and having to figure out how to do SPCs is not my, my strong suit. Um, okay, so that does give us the, the rating. Now the, the rest is going to be about figuring out chemistry. I'm assuming that fodder has gone up a ton. Eh, it's not up too much. You know, it's not too crazy. It's these days, though, that we have, like, tons of stuff that I always worry that fodder is, like, just going to be the most outrageous price ever. But not too bad, guys. Um, not too bad at all. Aspas, though, you know what? He might be extinct, actually. He... Okay, Iago Aspas, guys, is not even on the freaking market. So it looks like we may have an issue with some 84s. Um, that is not good. Okay, that is that is not good, boys. So I need to buy him. And it looks like 84s are... So Fodder Warriors are excited today, man, because let me tell you something. They are making a lot of coins. All right, so is this guy not on the market at all? This is going to be not so good. Okay, so Iago Aspas is... Can I get this one? I can't even get that Aspas. Wow. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Man, boys, this is... Guys, this is testing me as a, as a guy who does SBCs. This is testing me today. But we got it done, and then little did I not realize that I still don't have the chemistry, which is just... It's just fantastic, guys. It's just really fantastic to be in this position. But uh, I'm praying that there's something I can do. Boom. Okay, we have the chemistry, guys, and it's time for the player pick. Uh, can you imagine after all of that, that whole journey, that right now 
I literally don't get a team of the season. You know what, guys? I got my GOAT. I got my GOAT. But I already have Neuer's team of the year. I already have Neuer's team of the year. Now, Andre Silva, um, medium, medium, four-star, three-star. But he has really good finishing. But, I mean, look, guys. Even though this guy I already have, this is the right, this is the right move for fodder. I should be taking that for SBC fodder. I mean, it just makes sense. So, we're going to go ahead and take Neuer. Um, you know, unfortunately, guys, that's not super ideal. Um, it's not, but you know what? It is what it is. Now, in terms of the transfer list, uh, really, guys, I didn't do much, man. I picked up some Alibas the other day, but I'm telling you guys right now, like, I have some cards I have not been trading, so I'm going to get creamed. I bought some De Youngs at 155. He is 1.36, and he was 1.4 yesterday, so I'm getting creamed, losing like 800K on four De Youngs. We've got a Cancelo here who's probably 300K. 305K, this guy was 400K, so because my lazy ass didn't sell yesterday... I'm losing thousands of coins, guys, on a lot of players that I could have easily sold. But you know what? That's the way the market works this year, guys. It's very like if you don't get out at the right times and you don't sell, you get killed. So I'm stuck in some cards. And really, that's not too ideal. But that's where the club's at, man. That's where the club's at. Uh, other than that, I think the club itself is pretty clear, which is good. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go chill out. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace.